Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming and today I'm bringing you the new ninja from Unbroken Bonds as requested by Elias Jewish. Now I decided to bring you this guy because he looked like a bit of a challenge and today I felt like a bit of a challenge. So what's this good ninja do? Well he's got 130 HP which is important for this card because we're after his bring down attack which instantly KOs a Pokemon from the board your side or your opponents. It just depends who's got the least HP remaining. You just knock that guy out. And yeah, so we need to somehow build a deck that's getting them less HP than we have remaining on the board. And that's what this deck's gonna be all about. So how do we do it? Well, first of all, we have the Frogadiers, which we can evolve into and start putting damage counters on our opponents. Plus we have the Greninja GX, which does the same when he evolves. So that can help get, you know, Pokemon under us and then start attacking in. Keep in mind that when we're evolving though, it, we are starting with 70 HP. So potentially got to get it under our 70 HP. So that's something just to bear in mind as well. The other guy that we've got to attack is Tapu Koko. So the flying flip does 20 damage to everyone on the board and we want to really get in with the Tapu Koko in the early game just to get plenty of damage on the board and help bring them under the... Uh, HP of our Pokemon so then we can start sniping away with the ninja which is absolutely brilliant now if that doesn't go to plan then we're looking at our ninja GX deck especially because it's a water type Pokemon and I played 12 matches with this deck so far 10 of them have been against fire decks it's everywhere in the meta the Reshizard is just running absolutely right right now so yeah, this Greninja comes in absolutely clutch because if you fully evolve him from a baby, that's 50 damage onto the Reshizard, brings him down to 220, and hey, you hit him for weakness, that's brilliant. We're now getting down the Reshizard. The downside is slow to evolve, and you know, if we can't evolve him quick enough and get into what we need to, that Reshizard match can become a little bit tricky. But it's a good counter for Reshizard, and we're looking at the Greninja GX, which allows us to run away when we attack as well to protect the two prize cards and essentially stay as a one prize card type deck. So that's really the attacking lineup from there. Uh, we just have our draws, we have an aqua patch just to go and get another NG into play. We are running four DCEs and three water NGs. I know I'm low on the water NG count, but we're more attacking with this baby ninja than anything else and we shuffle the NG back into deck when we attack with the ninja GX, which is what we need the water NG for. We've also had a triple acceleration NG just to give us more NG into the deck. Um, which goes really nicely when we attack with Hay Slash because we just shuffle it back into the deck anyway rather than losing it to our discard pile. So that's the deck list. Shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello, Tan Popinu. Welcome. All right. Tappy Coco. Welcome to the party. I think this is the first time I've actually started with you up front for a long time so it's kind of nice to have you up front gives me a free retreat a marsh shadow Ooh, ouch that's probably not the card you were hoping to start with so what are you playing what have we got today coming so nest ball and that's going to be for an absol oh well, that's just rude that is just rude guess who's getting targeted down on the bench <laughs> Ah, uh, escape rope. Is that the end of the world? Mm, I don't know. This gives him too much, too much consistency. I mean, I think you get charged down on the bench more than anything else, because this is going to be a Zapdos deck. <laughs> so I think that's what we've got to target down is this guy right here to take away the consistency away from the deck. Not so worried about the Absol necessarily. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we're doing. And just got to assume that you're out on the next turn, so you'll just get KO'd. And we'll go down the early prizes, but if we can take out you and take out consistency. I'm feeling okay about things. Not great necessarily, but okay. So we've got Ultra Ball, we've got a Brooklyn Hill. We're going to take the Brooklyn Hill at this stage because we get value of that this turn, which is what we need. So we'll go and get us Froakie down. That's good. Yep. And then we'll Erica's, I think. Yep. So we'll just straight Erica's straight away for four. We've got another Tappy Coco, which I'm feeling like isn't the play. What we want is Froakie. Um, we might chuck Tappy Coco down anyway. 
that might be what we do. And actually, damage spreading with a Tapu Koko on the next turn might be pretty good. So, uh, we'll wait on... Yeah, 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 we'll just wait on everything just for the moment. So, yep, we'll pass it over and see what my opponent has. So, you should get the KO, I would have thought, on the Froakie here. It's a bit of a cheap shot, but, you know, <laughs> it's what we're going to claim anyway. It's a bit of a cheap shot. Anyway. Um... And then I put Tapu Koko in and spread some damage and go, hopefully, start setting up these guys. So, well, you two. That's what we need. Is there Aurora down on the board? Okay. So you want the free retreat that way. Which means you only need another Zapdos down, unfortunately. Alright, Guzma. That could be annoying. Yeah, and you're going to Guzma the Froakie up. <sighs> Why are you so rude? Have a go, go. Go up front. We'll just spread some damage for a bit. And, yeah, yeah. So, we'll go DC to you. Uh, do we want to stretch her now? Why not? We will. So, chuck it into my hand. Go and get Froakie down on the board. We just want quad Froakies. Ready to play. We'll just start getting them down. So, we'll now Cynthia hopefully get some evolutions this time. No evolutions, that is a bit of an issue. Um, Alright, flying flip. That's all we can do, so that's what we do. We are a long way away from attacking because we didn't get a single Froakie evolved. But you can manually retreat into your consistency card. While I hopefully just keep spreading some damage with the old Tapu Koko for a while and get them quite low, ready for us, hopefully in the future. So you're going to Lily. You just need a Lightning Engine, you're ready to attack with another Zapdos. You need some Electro Powers as well. You need one, just one. So we'll see how you're pulling this one particular one off. If you don't get an attack off here, It'd be pretty huge for me. So I'm assuming you got the Electro Power to get the KO here. Skateboard. Alright. No, don't. Alright. Well, that allows me to get some more damage onto the board, which is really good for me. So what we're going to do is just straight... Do I want to burn these two from the hand? I think I want to keep them for now. We'll get a Water Energy to you. We'll shuffle. Yep, that's how we're going to play it. And we do finally have a timer ball. We got one, two heads. All right. I deserved that after not being able to evolve a single one last time. So, frog it down. Uh, do we want to kill consistency here? Uh, yeah, we do want to chuck a couple down. So they'll get to 40. Uh, still a long way away, aren't I? Um... Let's just go after this Jirachi. We want to take out the Jirachi here, I reckon, so that's what we're going to do. So, yep, chuck a couple of damage cards onto this Jirachi. And then we shall just flying flip. Get rid of Jirachi, get a prize card out of this. Ah, just another Brooklyn Hill. So we do have Greninja, we just need an energy. How confident am I that I can find an NG? Semi not confident. <laughs> um, I don't know, Keats. What we've done, Keats putting pressure on him. Unfortunately, this Greninja would snipe the Mars Shadow initially. And he's setting up for a Tapu Koko play, I'm assuming. Which just means I don't want too many NGs on the board at once. So. Oh, interesting. You must have the switch in hand to be that confident to go the old oh, Jirachi. Oh, that, or you're hoping to pull one, but why would you just not switch the other Zapdos? So. So, Lily hits the field. Nope, Guzma. Alright, gonna go after that frog here. So it means I need DC here, or I could just continue spreading. I think we just continue spreading, honestly. You want to play that way? 
If you want to be rude about it, we'll just continue our spreading. So, we'll time ball here. And one heads, that's fine. We only needed the one. Yep, that's good. So, we'll probably you down. We'll make sure we get two damage counters onto you, I reckon. Just so we've got the KO here. Do I want a nest ball for anything right now? I'm thinking no. I do like this Greninja up right now. And Poker Gear. I think we do just have a look. Because I like the Cynthia better. So we burn the nest ball here. And go and get. Hang on, I've got to be very careful. Yeah, we'll get Ditto down this turn. That's fine. So, we'll now Cynthia. Only triple acceleration energy. That's no good to me. Uh, unfortunate. Alright. Let's go with the old flying flip. Get another prize card at least. Get Tappy Coco really close. I don't have a Coco Cadet. That Zapdos really close as well, so that's kind of nice. We can triple acceleration energy onto this Tapu Coco on the next turn if I want. Which I'm thinking that might be the play. And just continue spreading the damage for the moment. Yeah, I think that's how we play it. And we might attack with the ninjas late, so. More than anything else, so. Skateboard on, choice band, Lily, Thunder Mountain, and can't attack. Ouch. Well, that does suck to be you. Well, DC onto you. Uh, we don't need you. Kind of want to keep you if we can. Kind of want to evolve you, but I don't have any more Froggy Ears, do I? Uh, we could get the KO if I evolve here. We've got the KO on you, so it's a double KO as long as I evolve you this turn. But then that puts a two prize card Pokemon on the board, and I don't like that. We will get rid of this. Um, should we go after Stretcher? Yeah, I think we go aggressively after Stretcher instead. And we just want you to be another Greninja, baby ninja. Yeah. That's what we're going to do here. So, we'll shuffle. And... Didn't get Stretcher, unfortunately. And what we're going to do here is just hold. And we'll fly and flip. We'll get the one KO. That's fun. We can get another KO with this Tapu Coco next anyway, so... That's good for me. Ah, there's the Stretcher. So it was prized. What we do need to do is evolve you first, that's for sure. So you got the E-Power. I do think I want to attack with you first, but I don't have the Triple Acceleration Engine anymore. So for that reason, it's got to be this Ninja up next. That's for sure. It's definitely got to be this Ninja, no matter what. So, Ninja, you're up. I'm running out of DCE resources. Which is a little bit worrying. What do we have in here? Just one Frogadier. We don't have any... Wow, I'm really short on resources here. And I mean really short, so we're going to have to rescue Stretcher. I think we shuffle three. Grab you three back. My reasoning for this is we Ultra Ball, get rid of a Rangaroo, get rid of Poker Gear. Go and get Frogadier up this turn. And we're probably attacking with your evolution on the next turn, I reckon. So we can reset energies. 
So yeah, we'll put three damage counters down. Ah, oh, hang on, it's just two, isn't it? Yeah, two. So I KO you, and then that you've got the least health, so yeah, that's fine. We're good with that. So we got two prize cards on this turn. Got a DCE, so we're setting ourselves up. Yeah, yeah, so we're pretty happy with how things are looking at this stage. So what we're going to do is go to you. We're going to hold, and we're just going to bring down. And we want to bring down, I reckon this guy. Yeah, yeah, we're fine with bringing down this guy. Alright, so I'm feeling pretty good. Because I should be able to DC onto this ninja. And take down this Zapdos on the next turn. So I'm feeling like that's the play. Gonna field blow with the, the Brooklyn Hill, that's fine. You get the KO here, and I get the immediate reply, so we're all good. Alright. DC and bring him down. The final KO, you didn't let him get it. <laughs> Alright, that worked well in the end. Worked well. Hello, one tap one, and welcome. Alright, um, we might be looking at a, a Rangaroo down here with one of these nest balls. Which is fine. Oh, we've got Tatanizer. Yeah, we do have draw. So maybe we don't need to panic on getting the Orangaroo out just yet. Got some time to make a decision on that. Hopefully the NG Lotto can get ourselves into a DCE and we can start getting some damage on the board immediately. Oh, okay. Like, I'm assuming this is probably Reshazard. Probably. That's what I'm feeling this is likely. Although Welder straight up, that's an interesting call. Must be pretty bricked. I would have thought. So, feeling okay about concentrating to try and get, if this is Reshazard, into, okay, not putting anything down yet. So you're waiting to see what I'm playing. All right, so, we'll Brooklyn Hill. We'll go and get ourselves a Froki. We're just gonna go Trip Froki here. Yeah, I'm feeling the Trip Froki. So, another Froki. We are feeling the Trip Froki. Although, maybe what I'll do is I'll get a ditto as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're feeling that. Yeah, we're good. All right. So, we'll now Angelotto. Yep. See if I can get myself. Nope. we we'll Angelotto again. No. Okay. Dud pulls with the Angelotto. So, what we'll do is we'll just attach here. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Yep. So, we'll just shuffle. Drew dry on the NG Lottos at the moment. And what we're going to do is hold the NG Lotto for one and just pass it over. See what my opponent gets, because if she drops a Reshazard, that's really good for me. Although I'm building into that Reshazard, not attacking straight away. I might need to go and get a Rangaroo down here. That might be a play that I need to go for. So, I'm going to escape rope. All right. Um, who do I want to give you if I'm going to give you anyone? Ditto? Yeah, Ditto sounds fine. We'll give you the Ditto. You even get the KO on the Ditto, but that's fine. I'm okay with that at this stage. It's Wishful Baton. I'll put something else out, and yeah. The others are more important to me for now. I probably shouldn't put the ditto, but oh well. Uh, rescue stretcher, that's useless. So I'm thinking you two, and we NG Lotto, and we're still just searching. So we're going to Ultra Ball here. Uh, you two, yep, that's fine. I probably should put you two and then there. Uh, we do have a Rangaroo, and I think we need the Rangaroo, don't we? Yeah, I'm feeling like we need a Rangaroo here, just for some draw. And we're going to go Orangaroo down. We're going to NG Lotto. See if I can get myself something. Just a water NG. Mm, not great. I'm thinking we'll just Ultra Ball this hand away. And go and get ourselves a Frogadier up. Because we need to get that one going. So, yep. There's the Frogadier. 
Up and going. Yep. We'll chuck the damage onto you. You're going to have to bench something soon. We'll destruct. And we do have Nespool to go and get myself another Froakie down. So that's feeling pretty good. And we'll now Acrobike our way into... We want to keep the DCE here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we want. As much as I kind of wanted that draw support, we want to keep the DCE. And I'm thinking we chuck the DCE onto you at the moment. It's a risk playing that DC onto you. I might actually hold it for a turn. I don't think I want to just chuck 20 damage onto you. There's no value to doing that. So yeah, we'll just hold it. Hold the DCE. And pass it over. So the next turn is a DC onto the Frogadier. Okay, Turtno is coming down. So yeah, I'm pretty sure she's not wanting to play a Reshazards. And she's trying to play around with Volcanion Turtonator. I do need to get into as quickly as I can. I probably shouldn't have given her the ditto, but oh well. It happens. Gonna Kiawe. Alright. So I'm gonna attack here. But have got yourself set up for a KO on the next play. So we're gonna DC down. And we're going to Orangaroo Instruct first. Get ourselves a card. It's a poker gear. Is there anything I really want that will help me? No. So we'll just leave that in deck. Okay, so we'll acrobat here. We want to get another. Hmm, this is awkward. That, I don't have anything to draw right now with that, do I? But I do get rid of. Hmm. We do oust his stadium, so that's fine. That's what we'll do. 2.30, this thing's going to be able to power right over me if I uh, leave you in the active. So you've got to come in and disappear, I think. I think that's what we've got to do. Frog it is, where are you? So yeah, that's how we'll play. Um, yeah, we'll chuck some damage onto this guy. Okay. So that reduced him to 80, so I need to get you guys evolving pretty quick, but we'll retreat. Go to the ninja out back, and what we're going to do is just hay slash here, get rid of you, and then run away. Yeah, we're fine with that. So we're just going to run away. We'll give you the Tapicoco at the moment, I'm feeling, or do I give you a Rangaroo? Maybe I'll give you the Rangaroo, because you're going after the KO here, so... And I've got draw, although I've got tap... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you a Rangri because I want free retreat for later. That's fine. Keep in mind that I'm going to need a couple of turns here. And I'm going to need that rescue stretcher now, so... I've got another one in deck somewhere, hopefully. So, she's going to Ultra Ball... What's she going to go and get herself? It is a bit sad that tagging with this type of go goes and going to give me value because she's just not going to play anything onto her bench. Any rushes, odds, or anything like that, so. Living the Brooklyn at the hill there will help me. Oh, you are going to play a Reshazard down. That's a pretty big call. Okay, so Reshazard's going to see the action. That makes me happy. Because I can get after that Reshazard. So I'm assuming you're going with the theory that you're going to be able to blast through me before I can get there. So, we'll see. I mean, you're going to get two prize cards here no matter what. And I've got a lot of work to do to start setting up. So we go Brooklet Hill, go and get the Froakie down. Hopefully I can get into what I need now. So DCETU will Cynthia. And come on. Oh, one Frogadier. Wow. Um, oh, and I put it on the wrong guy, the DCE. You're an idiot. An absolute idiot. Oh, 
Well, that was dumb, to say the least. Ah, oh, well, we'll chuck it onto you, because I do have the KO on you on the next turn still, so... So if you attack the Turnator, we hit in with this Greninja on the next turn. Yep, that's what we're doing. And we don't have any draw, unfortunately. And the Poker Gear came up dead. This deck is drawing dry this game. Seen two Frogadiers for the uh, whole game so far. So Fairy Flint, I'm guessing you're going to set up the Reshazard in the background now. Which is unfortunate. So you're going to Welder onto the Reshazard. And then probably discard those three NGs, knowing that I'm going to KO you on the next turn. Going to Volcanion down as well. And then this Reshazard's going to be able to blast through me, so... Not in the greatest of spots right now. Because I'm still going to struggle setting up in time. I need a clutch top drag. If I don't get a clutch top deck right here, I'm pretty well done, to be honest. I mean, that's better than nothing. We'll give it that. So, yep, we'll put two damage counters onto you. And we'll evolve you up. Chuck that down. Is there anything I can even draw? I mean, come on, I needed something to get myself going. Uh, we'll retreat out to this good ninja, and unfortunately, we open him up to bringing the Reshazard down. So Lily's here. If he plays Reshazard, there is a chance that I could get the auto KO straight back on him. So he's down at 250. I'll need another Frogadier as well. I do have Lily for draw, which is fantastic. So. We've got some moves here. So I'm not out of it. And I'm a bit surprised the Reshazard did come down, to be honest. But we do have to get it next turn. We really do have to get it on our next turn. So this Lily Pool is going to have to be absolutely clutch. You're going to Greens. Now what's this going to be for? If it's for... I'm just trying to think, the um, custom catches or whatever it is and pulling up that frog in here, that's going to be pretty devastating. Because the ninja right now can't do a lot. I do need a water energy as well. At some point. So yeah, there's a lot that has to happen here. Okay, so Altar of the Sun, Welder. Alright. So that's fine, because we can get rid of the Altar of the Sun the next turn. That's fine by me. I'm going to Flare Strike. Yep, that's what I thought. So now we have to make it a lot happen here, and we can thin this hand beautifully. So let's see what we get ourselves into. A Nest Ball. Okay, so we shall Nest Ball, just to thin it from the deck. So, I think for 220... With three damage counters, that's just enough. So, all right. Possible. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can make happen. So, Lily. Didn't get the water energy. Did not get it. And that's painful. When you don't get what you need. That is just painful. Um... Poker gear for the Liza. We might as well pull it all out. I mean, do we want to... What do we do here? I think the DCE has to go onto you. Eighty. Hang on. Can I get enough still? How many cards can I ditch here? One, two, three, four. I'd have to ditch my whole hand with no draw supporters and would have to be absolutely clutch from here. 
I don't like my chances. Because what I was thinking is if I evolve that to 80, put all the damage counters in the world onto you, I could get you in the back line and get you within a one shot, but I don't think that's going to get me there either. So. Chuck the DC on. We'll go with you two out. And we might as well grab a Frogadier to chuck down. And Frogadier down. Chuck the damage counters onto you for now. Why not? And we'll just line flip. Chuck a couple more onto you. That's all we can do. Unfortunately, we just missed what we needed. We need a water energy and the um, evolution of you, the Greninja. Nine cards left in deck and just couldn't find them, so it's unfortunate. And you've got Tappy Coco here, and you just need to be able to attack on the next turn, so that's what you'd be setting up, I'm assuming. And we just have to Cynthia on the next and then hope from there. So what are you going to greens for? Heat factory and switch. All right. So, hmm. Greens are ready, so you can't be attacking with you this turn. So you have to attack with the Reshazard, get the KO. I now have to KO this Reshazard on the next turn, no matter what. So you've got to come in. And we've got to get some clutch things happening. That uh, triple acceleration energy, not right now. All right, so we got the Greninja, we got the Water Energy. All right, so we'll Aqua Patch here. Water NG to you. Get the water NG to you. Uh, we need to leave you in the active no matter what. Yeah, that's just what has to happen. Uh, yes, we'll chuck them all onto you. And we now hit him to Reshazard. And no, we would not like to shuffle this. Go and get myself three prize cards. And see what you have left to try and pull this off. So I finally got into what I needed to. Fiery Flimp. So what do you need? You need a lot now, I would have thought. And you need to survive on the next turn. And yes, I am very aware this has very much become a Greninja GX deck, not a uh, Greninja Unbroken Bonds deck. Although you did get yourself a KO. You did chip in. <laughs> but... You know, against this deck, though, that I'm playing, you're never really going to be playing the Unbroken Bonds Greninja. You need the Greninja GX to get these types of KOs. That was a Flareon. It's coming. I mean, you just need to somehow survive the next turn. That's something you need to concentrate on. Or get the Frogadier in the back line somehow. So Nest Ball, getting a Reshazard. I mean, that's the other way. Without my Guzmas, that Reshazard's harder to get to, isn't it? So Fire Crystal, getting some energies back. Especially with no Froakie on the field to evolve. So I can only get three damage counters on someone 
which is 240, and I hit for 220, which just isn't enough yet. So you're going to switch. Yep, that's how you're going to survive the hit. That sounds fair. So now what I've got to consider is how many damage counters do I put on this thing? Because if I put too many on, I get one-shotted. So it may nearly have to be a play for... Oh, you hit for 230. Which is going to one-shot me. I just don't have Guzmas left, do I? I've used both Guzmas. Yeah. There's nothing I can do to get through this thing. Not this turn. Not this turn, sadly. Although, no, we can Shadowy Hunter. Ah, yeah, well, we're fine. <laughs> we can Shadowy Hunter. We're good. We've got game. We just Shadow Hunter. And we'll just take out this Volcanium. There we go. That's all we need to do. Glad I thought of that in the end. Glad I thought of that. <laughs> Hello, Cosmic Flare, and welcome. We'll go tap a Coco down, ditto down. Got a draw, so that's fine. Ah, uh, yep. We're good. Alright, Charizard deck. If he fills his bench, I reckon we chuck the DC and tap a Coco and we just start chipping. As we set up our ninjas on the back line. Volcanion. Okay. Interesting. Who are you going to weld it to? Have I seen Volcanian partnered here? With Charizard before? I don't know if I have, really. But I have to assume... That you must have the KO next, surely. Let's poke a gear. We'll see what I get ourselves with the poker gear, Cynthia. So that's better than the Tatanalyzer. I'm thinking the DCE we don't get much value, but I'm gonna chuck it on for you. And we're going to Ultra Ball. He's two away. I'm gonna go and get ourselves. I kinda wanna continue getting set up, but I like having draw here. Just after that first game, the experience with the deck is draw can be pretty tough from time to time. So we don't really want either of you just yet. So we'll just Cynthia. All right, Frogadier, we do have a way into, we'll get rid of you two, into another Froakie, which is important. We just gotta keep getting Froakies on the board. And then get some damage on the board. So, flying flip. And I've just got to assume that you're going to have the KO here on the next one. So, you could greens right now. You're not running any abilities just at the moment. I'm assuming this will be a Charizard with abilities, so That's what I am assuming. And the more you fell at the bench, the more it makes me happy. Just to spread some damage in. <laughs> it's an Ultra Bomb. Yeah, you definitely have Zard here. Definitely have the Zard if you're throwing candies away. Different Zard than what I was thinking. Different Zard from what I was thinking there. Alright. What can you do? A Crimson Storm. 300 damage. That is nuts. That is actually nuts. Okay, certainly a different Zard from what I was expecting. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> Volcadians to go on the back line. I mean, this thing is one shot and absolutely anything he wants to, whenever he wants to. So, uh, we shall ditto. I mean, the Eric is only getting three. Oh, that uh, onto the ditto anyway. Uh, what do we want to do here? We just start chipping into this Zard, I feel. Just to bring him within range of Greninja strikes. So. We will Liza and Shuffle. Yep, sounds good. And we do get ourselves in some timeable action. So we are going to time ball first. 
All right, we'll go and get ourselves a frogadier. Keep in mind, you're probably more important to a certain extent. Yeah, yeah, let's bring you in. Let's bring you in because I need you for the next turn, potentially. So, we'll time vault. Got another head, so that's fine. So, we'll bring frogadier in as well. Yep, sounds good. And we'll go frogadier to you. And we'll chuck the damage counters back here. So that sounds pretty good. And we'll DCE to you. And do we want to poke you yet? No. So we'll just flying flip. Get some more damage spread out. And slowly chip in. The longer I can keep chipping in for, the better. So, gonna welder. I mean, what's raging out to? Discard the top 10 cards from your opponent's deck. That would be brutal. I have a feeling that might be coming, because I doubt you're going to just chip into a Tapu Koko. Yeah. Please don't lose good cards. Hmm. <laughs> Could be worse, I think. I don't know. It's brutal. I'll say that much. Uh, will Nespel... Oh, do we have anything to Nespel? Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Froakie? Yes. Good, so we get another Froakie down. We do need a Rescue Stretcher. Did he manage to discard all my Rescue Stretchers? No. Pokey here to see if I can get myself a better draw. Yep, that sounds good. Because we need Water NGs, like a Water NG somehow right here. Or the Aqua Patch. I think I do have Aqua Patch still saved. Uh, yes, and we'll chuck him onto this guy back here. That sounds good. So we need to find ourselves Aqua Patch, I feel. So I've only got one Water Energy left after that brutal move. So we'll instruct for one. Triple Acceleration Energy, that's not going to help me right now. Alright, so no Aqua Patch. Or anything available yet. So we'll chuck you down. We'll go with an acrobike. Yes, we do get a water engine. Oh, this is ditching my only rescue stretcher left, I think. Oh no, I've got one more. But the water engine is way too important. The water engine has to come in now. Alright, so we're fine with this. And then we water engine here. And then we retreat out. And get into this Greninja just in here. I don't think you're one-shotting me on the next one, so I don't think we run away at all. So we'll just haze slash. And uh, no, we don't. We just go, what have you got coming for me? Ah, there's the Aqua Patch. That's good. So we can start setting up a Frogadier in the back line as well. So we're really happy with that. And Cynthia for draw. We're in a good spot now. We're really asking the opponent. Where are you getting all these NGs to continue attacking immediately for? So, greens, all right. What have you got coming? Nespel, Welder. So, remembering that we can run away so and get this GX off the board, so you have to go through everyone. And I think that's what we do, because we don't want to get stung by a Charizard play if that's what he does so what we're gonna do here is shuffle one two three back that sounds good we want to aqua patch and get that to you actually we don't want to shuffle anything back we are fine just to Guzma right now Guzma you up and we will now retreat out because you're the biggest threat that we have so we just hey slash and once again say to you how are you getting this Greninja off the board this turn knowing that I can run away at some stage so just put it over to you again how are you getting this ninja off the board in this particular turn and I think that's our final Guzma so we can't chase anything from here on out we're okay with that we're okay with that so you're going to weld up, you're going to weld it to this time, to the front line, and hit in. And if you hit in, that's fine, we'll just run away on our next attack. So we're good with that. 
And that gets rid of two energies off the board as well, so we're pretty happy. Yep, I Heat Blast. And now, we're gonna Ultra Ball away the Nest Ball and the Tapu Coco. And we're gonna go and find ourselves a Frogadier out. And we're gonna chuck the damage counters. I think we start chipping into the Zar because we're gonna need to get him down on the damage at some stage. We're going to instruct here. Yep, we're fine with that. Got an Acrobike, so we will Acrobike. Pull in Ninja, yep, that sounds good. And although I'd have to evolve you and I don't want to evolve you, that's for the Greninja GX, so no, nah, we're not doing that. We'll just Cynthia. I only got five cards left, that's something just to keep in mind. So DCE, you can go on to you and we'll uh, Hay Slash, or do we want a Shadowy Hunter? How much are you hitting? It's 110 limit, isn't it? So 110 onto my yeah it's 160 yeah we're just going to shadow hunter get rid of you see ya get another prize card there's the other greninja gx so we're fine with that we've got triple acceleration ng don't really want to draw anything from the deck at the moment so you can hit into this ninja, you're still not getting it off the board. Gonna fire crystal, get an energy back, so you can hit for 110 finally. Gonna greens, and what are you gonna get this time? What are you gonna get this time? Heat Factory and Ultra Ball, okay. So I'm just two prize cards away. You can hit and run just to get within one. So we're good with that. And what we do here is we evolve you up. Yep, that's fun. And we're going to... I think we'll Lily for now. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. Just get one extra card out of the deck. That's all we want to do. Just draw one extra card out of the deck just so we've got options. And we're going to hit and run now. So hey slash. And we will run away this time. And chuck tap and go go up front. Take another prize card. And there we go. Now, if you hit him for 50, I'm not the weakest Pokemon on the board. <laughs> the easiest way is just to Ninja GX this one and triple acceleration NG onto it. And it greens again. So hit 50, I've got 60 HP left and I'd have to get you under 60, which is doable. Doable. I could do it that way. Maybe we will just to uh, just to let our Greninja get a KO. So that's what we'll do. We're just gonna get it under 60. So evolve you up. Yep. Onto this guy. Evolve you up. Yep. Onto this guy. And then retreat out to this ninja. And bring him down. Just so I can say that I did actually use you in this match. <laughs> but yeah, fire decks, especially big HP fire decks, GX decks, we're hitting with ninja GX more than the, uh, the other ninja. So, yeah. 
And it is time to rate this deck. So, staying with damage here, if we're up against fire decks, particularly Reshazard, the Greninja comes in absolutely clutch because we're hitting for weakness. We are hitting for a fantastic weakness. And yeah, up against Reshazards, you fully evolve this guy and put the five damage counters all onto a Reshazard. The Hay Slash just smashes straight through it and it's absolutely brilliant. But otherwise, we are not really taking big, quick, hefty KOs. So we're really looking at tapping Coco's along with our Frogadiers and maybe some action from the Greninja GX as well to set up some KOs with the baby Greninja um, in the back line there. So that's really how we're playing this deck and we're not taking big, hefty strikes at our opponents. Damage, it's a 5 out of 10. As for the defense, we act like a one prize card deck. Even with this Greninja in play, we can play him deliberately so he's not sitting there to be KO'd for two prizes. So we can act like a one prize deck quite nicely here. Uh, and for that reason, we're just about, you know, trading one for hopefully two or three. So one prize card trade, eight out of 10. As for reliability, we are a bit of a slow build, but that slow build does have advantages because we can get a lot of damage onto the board with Tapping Cocos and then the Frogadiers and Greninja GXs and then hopefully take multiple KOs later on. So we're not really trying to speed through and just start smashing turn one, turn two. We're about slowly building through and getting the damage on the board ready to smash and take multiple prize cards later and get up on our opponent that way. In that way, it works all right and we're giving reliability liability a seven and a half out of ten so overall what do i think well it's a great anti reshazard deck it gives you a great matchup against him not a guaranteed win but certainly gives a nice matchup against him not guaranteed simply because reshazard is so quick so he can sometimes counter his own weakness but yeah we do have a nice counter to that and it does work all right. Like you can work down non-GX decks quite nicely and take multiple KOs um, and snipe away with the ninja as well and just take off what they don't want on the field or take off consistency cards and things like that. So really liking the deck here. Um, it's not a world beater, but I like the challenge of playing with this ninja and I really do think this baby ninja does partner well with this uh, grown up ninja, so the ninja GX. So yeah, overall we're giving it a seven and a half out of 10.